In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to add overlays in Final Cut Pro 10. When you're done, they'll look something like this. They're doing cooking videos, and then they're doing video game videos, and then they're doing like sports videos, and huh? that is really going to confuse a subscriber. I've seen people do this, and they've made it very complicated, opening up PicMonkey and making a transparent background, but all you have to do if you have Final Cut Pro 10, and maybe even some earlier versions, is open it up and, of course, get into the project you want to use. You're going to find the place where you want the overlay to pop up, and you're going to put your cursor in that area. Make sure the bar is at the place where you want the pop-up to start. Then you are going to drag your image into Final Cut Pro. It's obviously best to use a PNG because it will have a clear background, but in this example, I'm using a JPEG. You're going to drag that right to the bar. And as you can see, my image is now inserted into the frame, but obviously that's not the position we want it in. So you're going to click on your image and make sure it's highlighted in yellow. Then you're going to come to this button that has a drop down menu, push the arrow and select transform. You can see your image is highlighted and has blue dots on the corners. You can use the blue dots to resize your image by dragging them to the size you want. Then you can drag your image to the position you want. You can also use the blue dot in the middle of your image to tilt the image in different directions as well. You can use this right panel to crop your image. It's best to do it this way so that your image doesn't get distorted. As you can see, I'm taking away the white portion of the image on every side until it looks the way I want. When you're finished, click Done. I saw there was a little bit of white still left, so I just click Transform again and edit the image again. When it's exactly how I want it, I drag the bar just before the image in my timeline and I play the video to see what it looks like. And as you can see, it just pops onto the screen, but in this case, it didn't stay on the screen for enough time. All you do is highlight your image and drag the end to the portion of the video where you want the overlay to stop. Now when you play it back, it will remain on the screen for a longer period of time. I personally like to add a transition because it makes the pop-up come into the frame more smoothly. Drag and drop the transition right over the image. As you can see, there are two gray bars on either side of the image. When you play back the video, the overlay will pop into the frame more smoothly and it will also fade out of the frame more smoothly. If you want to add a sound effect when the overlay pops up on the screen, just pick one from the sound library and drag and drop it right above the overlay wherever you want the sound to start. I play it back and reposition it until it sounds the way I want it. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other requests, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more. Don't forget to subscribe and watch my previous video by clicking here.